I don't think anybody should have that kind of power, not even the president. Jane Anaruma is outraged after hearing about former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin's decision to pardon or commute the sentences of several inmates, some who committed horrendous crimes. I think it's disgusting. She is particularly upset about one person, Gregory Wilson, who had his sentence commuted from the death penalty to life in prison with parole a possibility after 30 years. Wilson was convicted of murder, robbery, rape, and criminal conspiracy back in 1988. Anna Ruma's daughter, Peggy Gore, was found murdered in Newport back in 1987, killed by heavy blows to the head. As this news article pointed out then, investigators said informants linked Wilson to Gore's murder, but he was not charged in that case. He was eventually sentenced to murder for killing another woman. This kind of brought it all back. I mean, bingo. I thought, oh my God, he sh should be dead. He should have been executed 30 years ago. Bevan wrote to say that his legal defense was inadequate would be the understatement of the year. I think he was just vindictive. He lost the election and that's what I think. A few things I hear and I think, yeah, that don't sound right, but this to me was wrong. Well, a commuted sentence actually replaces the original sentence, which means Wilson could be eligible for parole right now. Bevan said regardless of future parole hearings, Wilson deserves an equally uh, equal opportunity for, for justice. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right.